Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new book shopping with me video. I love to do these videos partly because, yes, it is one of my favorite hobbies to go and browse Barnes and Noble and buy books. Absolutely. But also because I haven't like actually physically gone book shopping in a while. And I'm not going to go crazy or anything. Hopefully this doesn't like cut to me like having 15 books. I'm definitely gonna, not going to let myself do that. But I just have been down in the dumps lately. Mentally not doing the best. But that's not what this video is about. But the point is, is that I wanted to do a little book shopping for fall. Like just some cozy, cute fall reads that are going to make me feel good because I am in a very big reading slump after reading Bunny by Mona Wad because wow did that book give me a headache and put me in a very very bad mental state. <laughs> didn't love it to say the least it's not that the book was bad it's just that books like that specifically really get to me where they really make me feel like bad mentally so i want to go in here and i want to get some cozy cute fall books for the fall vibe because i want to soak up as much of it as i can so that's the goal i want to just kind of browse around for any genre i also want to look for some more fantasy books so that's what we're gonna do let's pop in the earbuds and go in here I just did some damage that I really was not expecting to do, so I don't know what to make of myself right now. Is the lighting bad over here? Careful, cut inside. I was in desperate need of some water. Also, I have the window open, so I hope that's not too whatever. Maybe you'll get some ASMR of like the leaves rustling. I definitely did some damage. Let's talk about this. I got like three romance books, I think, and the rest of them, all fantasy. Obviously, like the fantasy books have romance in them, but like they're fantasy books. And I did something you guys should be proud of me for. I only got the first book of every series. Now, there were some series where I was like, they're duologies. And I was like, well, I might as well just like get the second one now. And I was like, no, just get the first one. And if you like it, then come back and get the second one. Like, don't buy the book if you don't know that you like it yet. And don't buy three books in the series. Like, my thought process is to look at a book and be like, well, I'll buy the first three books in the series. And it's like, no, just buy the first one. So I just bought the first book of like multiple different series. We'll start off with the romance books that I got because I feel like they are very fall vibe. Now it doesn't necessarily just like say that, but I feel like it's a good fall romance read. Even though my fall TBR, I made a video about my fall TBR. Guys, I mean, if we're just being honest, like I'm having a hard time. So I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble and get books. And I've said this in a book shopping video before that I should not be allowed to buy books when I'm having like a bad mental time. Like people should look at me and be like, no, like you cannot, like I'm not letting you, especially alone. Like I, oh my God, this is like a repeat of that video. I literally came alone and I'm just having a bad mental time. So I just like go, okay, just buy all the books you want. And then I feel bad about spending the money after. So anyway, let's just talk about the books. You guys are like, Destiny, we're not your therapist. I get it. I'm sorry. The first book that I got is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I know that everyone like was talking about this. This was the book of the month book for 
was it for July or August? I think it was for August. And I saw like so many people on TikTok, on YouTube and everything talking about this book. So I was like, okay, I want to give it a shot. Does this remind anyone else of Austin Powers? Like looking at this and like looking at the girl, does that not remind literally anyone else of Austin Powers? Or is that like just something weird with me? But it's like fake dating, I think. And she's the bodyguard instead of the guy being the bodyguard, which I love. And also I really like this cover. I don't like buying hardcover books because they're like 30 bucks like why was this 30 dollars when the paperback would have been like 17 fun fact but like last year in 2021 at some point right we're in 2022 right last year was 2021 in 2021 at some point i read from blood and ash by jennifer l armentrout i literally never picked up another book in that series because for some unknownst reason to me those books are only in hardback so i went and i was like okay i'm gonna pick up the first and second book since i already read the first book and i enjoyed it i mean it's not one of my favorite things ever like i never think about it but i was like maybe i should give the rest of the series a try yeah tell me why those books are like 35 dollars i quickly put that book back i was like uh-huh not today and then i got in a new york minute which i have been seeing every single time that i go to barnes and noble like more and more people are pulling up and i'm getting so scared to talk okay and for the first time today i actually like read the little blurb that's in the front and it seems so cute one her name is franny and if you guys ever watched the nanny growing up that's what it reminded me of because her name is fran i don't think her name's franny but i think it's just fran and it was just so cute and also like the synopsis it's like they keep on accidentally meeting and they're like polar opposites and it just seems so cute and i love literally anything to do with new york in the last romance book that I bought is The Godparent Trap, which I have heard that this book is like, uh, what's that movie? There's a movie with the girl from Grey's Anatomy and this other guy. <laughs> And it's basically the same exact thing where it's like they have to all of a sudden like help raise these kids. And I think that the guy, it's his sister that something happens to and it's her best friend. And they both have to work together to raise these kids. And I just liked that movie. I've heard that it's a mix of that movie and The Parent Trap. So I just like put my name on it. That sounds absolutely amazing and I can't wait to read it. Now I'm pretty sure I just have a bunch of fantasy books. Well, except for... Where did that book go? Except for this, I got Clown in a Cornfield. I think this is like a thriller. I've seen it on this one bookstagram account I follow. If you guys love like fall vibes with books, go follow her because she's always posting just like the best fall vibes. And I've seen, I've seen her post this on multiple occasions, so I wanted to give it a try. Okay, next I have all of the fantasy books that I just bought like the first book in them. So I'm just gonna pull them out randomly. First I bought City of Bones, which is this the one that Haley is reading? Or did she or was she reading the internal devices? Wait. Am I stupid? Hold on. Because I'm gonna tell you guys why I bought this. No, it's this one. So I think she's reading the infernal infernal devices? Infernal? I think. I don't know. But I bought this because you guys know how much I love Stranger Things and Jamie Bauer who plays a character in that show. He plays this character in the show and then I had seen people posting on TikTok this other movie he was in and it was from this series but I didn't know if it was the Infernal Devices or if it was the Mortal Instruments and it was the Mortal Instruments so I think that that movie is about this book. I'm gonna have to look up if it's about multiple books because I can't watch it until I read the books because that's just, you know, the type of person I am. I always read the books first if I genuinely want to read the books. And I wanted to give the books a try, so I picked this one up. Hopefully it's good. I only picked the first one up, guys. And also it does that cool thing where like you get all of them and it brings out a picture. And I think that that's absolutely amazing. I don't even know what this is about. Like I literally just picked it up and I have no clue what it's about none so that shall be fun and then we have these hollow vows which this is kind of like i've heard this like compared to akatar a little bit um not a lot not like it's exactly like akatar it's very similar because I'm pretty sure it deals with fairies but i am very excited because i've seen a few people talk about this and uh, obviously if you guys read fantasy books you're like yeah duh 
uh, that's been talked about forever, but I'm new to fantasy and after doing my reading six fantasy books for my taste test, I really just like went into the fantasy section and just picked ones that really spoke to me. Like maybe I've heard some things about them, but not a lot. Like I've seen people say that they've read this, but I don't honestly know anything about this series. So I was excited this one caught my attention as well as Bone Crier's Moon, which I haven't seen anyone personally talk about this. This is just a duology. Bone Crier's Dawn is the second book and the back of this basically says like bone criers like basically carry spirits on to the afterlife but they like demand a sacrifice basically so the girl wants to has always wanted to be one and I guess her sacrifice is having to kill the girl has always wanted to be one okay basically I think it's her sacrifice is that she has to kill the boy she's destined to love and the guy is like seeking revenge for something and then the best friend's also in it so I don't know there's like a bunch of different characters but it seems like it focuses on the girl and the guy Ooh, and then I got hush hush fun thing about this is that I saw a TikTok about this book and it was like me when I was 13 like seeing this book for the first time and it was that like something horrible is happening inside of me and I don't know why audio if you know you know if not I spend way too much time on TikTok so but it like made me intrigued because so many people were like talking about like growing up with this book series and I was a little bit like okay I know nothing about it I just know that everyone said like how much they loved it and it seemed pretty interesting honestly the back kind of reads like Twilight a little bit so I also want to read it to see if it's very similar to Twilight because it kind of seems similar in a way if you guys have read this and loved it, you guys are like, that is nothing like Twilight. I don't know, guys. Just try to step out of my comfort zone. I think this is the last book. I think it is the last book. Awesome. Then I got Throne of Glass. This is the first book, right? I really hope it's the first book. I'm pretty sure it is because it's called the Throne of Glass series. So I'm hoping that this is the first book. But this is by Sarah J. Mass. Same author who wrote Akatar. So I know that everyone loves that series. And I've seen so many people recommend this to me because I love the Akatar series. They're like, please read Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I kind of rhymed and the way I said mass kind of sounded a little weird. I was like, okay, I saw it. I picked it up. I was like, I feel like it's time. I mean, I just bought it. Like who knows when I'm going to actually get to this. Maybe next month I will just be like making a video, just like testing out a bunch of different series. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do one huge video where I just read the first book and all of these series and see out of the how many are there out of the five that are here if I want to continue on with the series of them I feel like that sounds good boom made a video idea up on the spot that sounds great okay that's everything that I bought from Barnes & Noble that concludes this book shopping video today thank you guys so much for coming with me I hope you guys maybe found some new books that you want to read maybe we can read them at the same time maybe I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed it somehow hope you guys liked the vibes I try to vlog more and Barnes and Noble but honestly I'm really bad at vlogging in there because I'm always like I have headphones in but I'm always like is someone about to come up to me and tell me that like I'm gonna get kicked out because I'm not supposed to be filming in here so it's a little hard for me I hope I got enough footage I hope you guys enjoyed if you did you guys know to do like comment subscribe all that YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do and with all of that being said I will see you guys when I see ya peace